All right, so I got plugged into my desktop computer. And so I'm just gonna show you how it works. I don't know if you can see, you can probably see it on the black screen here. You just wiggle it like that. It's not much to it. Basically you sit like a, you hold it like a TV remote and you can and you just move it around. So I could like take this window here and drag it over there. But when I open up a window on this screen, I'm doing two screens, doesn't matter. You might just have one screen. Typically down here with this uh, setup, I like to have my, <laughs> when I'm not video editing, I have like a, a video playing on this screen and I have Facebook or some web page that I'm surfing on this screen for the ZYF. So for the air mouse part, it's, uh, I very much like it. It has basically your up, down, right, left buttons here. And it has the uh, voice button. Now the voice button on this operating system and on a lot of operating systems won't work, but they will work in your modern, more up-to-date Android TV boxes, a Amazon Fire Stick, uh, things like that it will work on. Another thing is it has a volume control. So you can see there, um, it's a very nice feature for with your device, whether whatever system it is would be in Windows, an Apple-based product, or a Linux or Android-based product, it will, uh, this should probably work. Uh, it has a home button, which uh, if you do that on a web page, it'll just take you to the home page. So right there, for this thing, it just takes you to the default page. It has a back button. Uh, so get it on the screen here. And it just is basically the right click. So the big thing is that when you're using it as a mouse is your right and left click, left click. Left click is the okay button. So when you're uh, typically you're clicking on things, it's just the OK button on this remote is to uh, to go to your next page. So if I go on this Linux Mint page here, it does that. Now, if you want to do a um, a right click, you hit the back button. It looks like the back button now here on the remote, and you just put the remote over it, and then there's your right click. You can open the link in a new tab or a new window, or copy the link location whatever you want to do that when you're doing a right click. If you want to highlight text and then copy paste it, you can highlight it with your OK button and then use the right click button to do that. So on the keyboard side of it, so when you do flip it over, the neat feature with this is you can use it as just basically your air mouse Wii remote uh, type of device. Or if you just want to hold it like this and use it to, uh, to scroll your pages, you just basically do your two finger uh, button here to scroll on a page like that. Same thing with over here. You just maybe click on that. Go like that with your two fingers to uh, to scroll on a page. Also on this, it has a um, a function button for uh, if you're looking at web pages and you want to just you know do a page down and then scroll through a if you're scrolling through a page, just hit the page up and down button. That will work as well. The keyboard. Now I have, I have uh, larger fingers, so, and it's not, the keyboard is not necessarily, like for something like this, a product like this, I don't necessarily want this to write an email. You write a quick message or whatever, but mainly just for doing a very quick search. And if you're Googling something on uh, any device, it should just be able to uh, complete the sentence anyway. It's kind of like when you text with your phone, the same thing uh, would apply to this. Uh, so yeah, QWERTY keyboard. So I don't know my, alphabetical order. I know things in the QWERTY order <laughs> when I'm trying to write a message. So whenever the um, uh, a display comes up and it's in the alphabetical order, I'm like, I'm lost. So I'm like, where's the QWERTY? Because <laughs> my alphabet's Q, W, E, R, T, Y, A, S, D, F. Now, one thing, it took me a while to figure out how to do a right click on this. So, so if you're using the touchpad and you want to click on a link, you just simply tap it like how you would with a, with a touchpad on your phone or on a, a ta on a mouse or, or uh, some, uh, with your phone or with a um, laptop computer. Now say you wanna do a right click, which I found you do two buttons. Let me just, there we go. Tap it with your two fingers to go to a right click and just say copy the link location. Another thing I really tend to use an air mouse for a lot is when I'm just at home chilling and uh, looking at my Facebook and uh, scrolling. So I just hit the, uh, the down button here. If I'm on the right screen here. Uh, hold the down button and just scroll through and just uh, read, um, 
you know, look at uh, Facebook, Twitter, whatever websites you're looking at. If uh, if you're like me and you still actually use a desktop environment uh, when you're computing, I prefer the desktop environment. I know a lot of people have moved to um, a touchscreen um, portable environment, but I still like, even with my laptop, I like having that desktop feel for surfing the internet. It's just, the, uh, I enjoy the internet with a desktop as opposed to on my phone. So the USB device itself has a little button on it and that's the seek button so if you're looking for your remote it has to be plugged in <coughs> to a USB source <coughs> in there so if you lose your remote I got it here but you press the seek button and it'll light up and it'll beep so when you lose if you can't find it and you're looking for it it has the seek feature where it'll beep until you find it. You just hit any button to turn it off, which is a great feature for remotes. I wish TVs came with every TV set and media box has that. So when you're lo looking for your remote, you can send a signal to go uh, to, uh, beep so you can find it. Is there's a light button. Uh, this button here will turn your uh, pointer off. So if you want to turn your pointer on off, you just hit the, uh, the pointer button. Uh, and there is a light button. So you can't really see it in this lighting because it's uh, pretty good. There you see that it lights up there. So if you're at, and when you, it's dark, you do that here and I'll show you. So when you hold it up, it lights up there. And then if you flip the keyboard over, the keyboard will light up <clears throat> with the function key. So you're wondering, well, you're not gonna have all the keys that your large keyboard has. What this does is it has this function, you know, if it'll light up there. This function button over here and that will that's where you'll find a lot of your keys that uh, you might be looking for it comes with its own built-in lithium battery so it's rechargeable via this uh, USB port here one of the features of it too is it has a feature so when you're uh, holding it this way the um, keyboard will shut off so you won't accidentally hit keys when you're holding it upside down same thing goes when you hold it up uh, hold it for the keyboard um, use it won't um, accidentally trigger any of the buttons below. So if you're using your Amazon Fire Stick or a Chromecast and you have one of these little tiny USB connections and you need an adapter, uh, this is the adapter here. So this will plug into your device that might have a smaller uh, US, uh, USB connection, um, mini, um, whatever they are. And you take your good old fashioned standard USB plug plug it in there da, 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 there you go get it in there USB there you go just to show you on this remote here too it'll plug into this but like for example if you have an Android box this is mainly like uh, if you have a Roku box or an Android box and it has this kind of connection and you want to plug your air mouse into that now what you'll see with the adapters is you'll have the smaller USB converted to the larger and you also see another USB so this is if you're powering uh, or charging a device or you're running the power system, this is the pass-through. Same thing with this octopus-sized one here too, is a pass-through would be the, the uh, female jack and then you just connect your male jack into, the, uh, into your device. This remote also has an IR uh, learning and um, IR blaster in it. Now, uh, this would be the one area where I had a hard time with, and I would hope that the instructions would be more clear, because what it would told me to do in the instructions was to hold the power and the OK button and wait for it to flash, and then you'd encounter your button here. So say if I wanted to enter my power button to power on the TV, and I had the, this remote, you aim it, well, it says about 18 inches, away from each other but for the sake of this video I'll just uh, leave it there and you aim it at the remote and you can teach it uh, the commands so I had a hard time actually getting this to work it could be an incompat incompatibility issue with one of my remotes I was using an Insignia TV Roku remote and all I wanted to get was my up down power back keys and home keys because it's like a Roku remote it's a very simple remote so that would work fine with this but I wasn't able to get it set up for whatever reason following those steps that were in the instructions so that would be one area if anyone has gotten this product and has figured that out let me know in the comments how they were able to get their their uh, remote 
program. And then I'll pin that in the comments. So if you want to get yourself one of these products, please click on the one of the links in the description below. I'll have a referral link, which will help me just a little bit um, by uh, if you buy it through that link. Uh, it's a great product, this ZYF um, Air Mouse. I highly recommend it if you want to have something for um, your media setup, uh, media setup. You'd think, well, is the Air Mouse really hard to learn? I found uh, with the learning curve of using the actual Air Mouse, it doesn't take too long to learn. If you've played video games with the Wii, uh, this thing is uh, uh, definitely uh, easy to learn. Kids will learn it. Uh, another thing is with the Wii, it's not like the Wii. You don't have to hook up any sensor or anything like that. All you gotta do is plug in the USB dongle and wave it around. And it just, basically the motion will be like that. I'm gonna see here. Yeah, like that. I'm looking at the screen here while I'm pointing it at the TV. So it doesn't have to be pointed at the TV. It's just basically you hold it up and it has a six point access um, degree uh, flow so that you can uh, have it in the direction you want. Please check out freesatellitetv.net and also check out the new shop where you can order free satellite TV, LMBs, receivers, and dishes, all sorts of things for your free to air needs over at the freesatellitetv.net shop. So please check out my YouTube channel, Robbie Strike, and check out all the technology videos and reviews that I've done covering satellite, free to air, cell phone, how to do stuff in Linux, how to do stuff in shortwave and old technology and doing neato things with computers, 